If you have been to the Royal Free Hospital in London for screening of Fabry disease and have tested positive, this short video aims to guide you through the next stage. If you have tested positive for Fabry disease, you will either receive a letter or phone call inviting you to our Lysosomal Storage Disorders Unit for clinical assessment. When you come for assessment, that may be over one or two days. If it's for two days, then you'll stay with us in the hotel overnight. And during that time, you'll have organ assessments of various different organs in the body. So they can be long days, and we suggest you bring something with you to do during that time. Fabry disease is a hereditary condition. So to make life easier, we are very happy for you to bring your family when you come for appointments. I don't think people realise how much of a long day it is. I always take my wife with me anyway to keep me company, so it's quite nice to take some newspapers or some sort of reading material with you. It takes me a few hours to get here, um, and then with all the tests being done throughout the days, you need to, yeah, bring, your, yeah, bring some music, your phone, games. When you arrive at the Lysosomal Storage Disorders Unit, you will be greeted by one of our specialist nurses who will explain the range of tests planned for you. The first test will be an initial assessment with one or more of our doctors, who will ask about your medical history and what medications you may currently be taking. Then you will have a blood test to measure your blood count, kidney and liver function, and cholesterol and vitamin levels. Most patients will have a specialist nuclear medicine examination to examine how well your kidneys work. This test will measure your GFR, or your glomerular filtration rate. It involves injecting a small tracer into your blood. Four hours later, another blood test will be taken to see how well your kidneys have removed the tracer from your body. Prior to visiting the Royal Free Hospital, we will have sent you a bottle to collect all of your urine over a 24-hour period. You will need to bring this with you when you come to the Lysosomal Storage Disorders Unit, so we can test it to measure your kidney function and the amount of protein in the urine. Most people have an MRI scan to see if Fabry disease has had any effect on their brain. This involves going into an imaging machine for 30 minutes. People with pacemakers or metal implants are not able to have an MRI scan, so we will arrange for you to have an alternative CT scan. Please let us know if this applies to you. Next, a simple hearing test will be performed to hear different pitches of tone. And you will have an eye test to look for changes in the appearance of your cornea. Finally, you will need an ECG, an electrocardiogram, as part of a full heart assessment. The ECG causes no discomfort and takes about five minutes. The results of the organ assessments can take approximately a week to come back to us. And at that time, we'll work out whether it's appropriate to have treatment or whether you need other forms of supportive care. We'll write to you with that information and invite you back up to our centre if you want to discuss this further. Although it was scary and daunting to find out that I had something wrong with me, it was nice to know that there was something they could do about it, you know.